Hello everybody, you welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Mimi J. How are you doing today? So on today's video, I want to be taking you to four different markets in Douala, Cameroon. Remember, I said Douala is the capital, uh, is the economic capital of Cameroon. So when I got up in the morning, I first of all took a bike. I spent the night somewhere around Dobo. Dobo is a neighborhood in Douala Bonaberry. So I took a bike to Marche Granganga because I supposed to pick my sister there so that we go along with her. So when I came, I just arrived Marche Granganga here. I have to spend a couple of time to wait for her come. I waited, waited, waited. As I was waiting, I just saw how beautiful the buy and sell them women were busy doing what they left their houses for. I said, let me film and show you. Oh, this mama actually came with the baby to the market just to sell. Why others are buying, others are selling. So my sister finally came and I decided to bought a bike and we are now heading to Marche de Femme. That's a market basically for women dresses. So when we arrive here, I happen to first of all get into this woman's horses shop. She sells mostly young girls dresses and checking around to pick up some item there to come and resell. The prices were not really favorable and I also asked the woman the kind of dresses that could really, uh, the new dresses in the market. Yeah, she happened to show some of them to me and I also check around. Not just uh, getting to her advice but I decided to check around to see that which captures my mind to get. Because if it captures my mind, it will equally capture the minds of my client. So this is how we hold the law, guys. I, I was there for some time with my sister. Uh, after getting maybe one or two from her, I decided to get to the point. I think I showed you last time that there are some places in the market where when you ask a price of a dress, especially to the hawkers out of the market, you see thousands of them will come in front of you. So I just said, let me show you this. I decided to step out of the shop. These hawkers, vendors that they actually sell, just they don't have a shop, but they get it to the wholesalers and maybe at about 500 francs if I, to resell and have a little gain. And it is also much more beautiful buying from them because they are also relatively cheaper. So I decided to price this gown. In the process of pricing this is it down or yeah this up and down many of them came beside me i ignored this guy because he started showing me pictures uh, his phone pictures of different dresses that he had i decided to come inside again to check another dress the shop owner showed me because the other guys down there was just all of them just started coming close to me so i didn't want it to be that way because most of them can easily steal from you, especially when they come to confuse you, get something from your back. And if care is not taken, they can do away with your phone, do away with even your handbag without you knowing. Because this one will just bring a phone and start showing and say, oh, I have these, it is in the shop there, let me take you there, we do wholesale. So that's how they behave. I decided to step back so that they will get um, disappointed and leave. Immediately they will leave I'll get down to get what I wanted to. So I came and I had to pick another one again. Stepping down this time around, different types of maybe young people's dresses came about casual wells came about came around. So I decided to make a choice. Remember, I am doing my petty business. I have to buy to go resell. So I called for the lady holding this one. I just needed something free that someone can wear to church at a cheaper rate you know when i come to the market i mostly get i have a customer who like turkish dresses so i don't just rely my effort on getting turkish dresses because they are so so expensive i also try to get what 
a, a normal person will be able to afford. I called this woman to ask about these gowns. A lot of them came beside me. You see, most of them on the mannequin, they hold their mannequin on their head, and some carry their bags on their head too. So I was trying to price more. A lot of them came, as you can see, they came close to me, trying to show their different dresses. So after buying from them, I came to the Turkey shop. This is actually where I was coming from. So this Turkey shop is at Marche Central, meaning I left Marche de Farm. Marche de Farm in French, in English means that it is uh, mark, the market mainly for women's dresses. That's why they call it women market. So when I left Marche de Farm, I took my sister to Marche Central, to this Turkish shop. So I came here, I was supposed to pick a lot. And I just started picking the different colors that were commanded. And that is how it went. So I felt so, so hot. Given the fact that Dwala is relatively hotter than uh, Yaoundé, I decided to take something cold. That's Malta. I saw a hawker moving around with it. And if you come to the market and you see most of these hawker hawking drinks, please check the expiring date because most of them they sell expired date. Well, also, when I got this drink, I decided to check the expiring date before I take it. Remember, it's very cold. So I have to check on this cat. You know those rich auntie vibes. So this is a shop I always come and shop for, from. I get some of my rich auntie vibes as I was trying to check more new arrivals, maybe to film and show my client. I also get, got what maybe my client needed, and that is how I shop. Please, if you come across my video for the first time, oh, do not relent your effort. Subscribing liking and even sharing let us make business together so this is how i spend the whole day in the market different markets in dwala so when i left here i was somehow tired there was nobody to film me because my sister could not follow me around we went to a market that they sell mostly bags and market that they sell mostly shoes so when we went we bought a couple of them and I left the market very late. You see, these are the dresses I've chosen from this Turkish shop. So I am going to make the price and as I pay, I'm leaving this shop to a different market. So when I left the shop, this is me, as I left the shop, I decided to go to another, to go somewhere to get a bike to another market. People were just looking at me as one crazy girl because I didn't mind. How can a young girl just carry a bag like this on her head? I didn't mind. I started moving to get a bike. You know, when you move, you have to check if a bike is coming. So I got a bike. Yeah. So when I bought a bike, guys, I decided to get to another market. So from here, I think my sister was very tired because she was actually the one filming me around. She was very tired. And I myself, I was so tired because it's not easy spending ask in this very market and to buy one thing you have to ask ask and ask and ask because if care is not taken you end up losing everything let me show you some of the things i bought so guys what are you waiting for to come patronize my business i just want to show you this very simple beautiful outfit that can take you to that best of outing you want just look at it I have this belly uh, column and we have the slippers and I also have this beautiful quality handbag and you can see how the belly column looks Yes guys, that's how I do whenever I come back from the market, I have to film in the house and show. Many people might think that that is actually my shop, it's not my shop. That's why I'm hustling to see how I can make ends meet. So, when I left the other market, I went now to the market where they say just jewelries. As I got there, I have to price different jewelries, and filming it was just to come advertise. And if they want it, I will normally call for the owner to send. So I went to these jewelries and this traditional Afri 2 uh, jewelry to beat to film. Guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. You know, life is not easy. I have to do this to see how I can put food on my table. Please, if you are coming across my video for the first time, please subscribe, like, 
and do not hesitate to share i love you guys so much very soon guys we are going to be hitting 10 uh, 1k subscribers i'm so so grateful god bless you as you stay tuned